three, two, one, go. Welcome to Grounds After Rounds. We'll, uh, we'll call this an espresso shot, an off the creek espresso shot. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Sounds good. Get you out of it. That way, that way you can be sitting there just reading a book when they're finished the ice skating lesson and you can be like, where you guys been? What you been up to? What's going on? How'd you go? Yeah. Yeah. So you decided. Maybe I'll catch the tail end too. I think it's about yeah. an hour. Thing. So by the time we, yeah, by the time we're done, I think um, she'll have a few minutes left. So that'd be cool. So anyway. So yeah, let's just lean into it. I think uh, so. Um, I guess we kind of talked about it last week with like the specialty programs, but I think talking about where, how do people feel about the gym? Are they loving it? They did. I mean, I only had, it was Monday's post Super Bowl, so there was only like 17 people total, oh, right. and I, I didn't come to 9:30. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, people liked it. It was, you know what I mean. Like people were like, "Man, it's so nice and bougie. It looks so well finished off, and this and that." But like, nobody was ex- as excited as I was. And did I've, you did you look at the blog? Did you see? Well, I sent you the video, right? I sent you the link to my yeah, video. I haven't the blog yet. No. Um, yeah, I mean, like seriously, hanging that flag. I was still glowing even this morning. Like. I'm still glowing now. Like it was such an accomplishment to get that fucker up there. <laughs> so then, then I hope you like believe me when I say it. When I saw the picture, I thought about how written, how nice everything looked. But like that flag is the first thing that caught my eye because it's like, man, that looks so good. Like that looks so good right there. Like I think I'm gonna even put the other like, one when we're done. I'm gonna put the other one outside on in between two of the tent poles, so it'll like look similar. It'll be bungeed. And it'll be sort of like as somebody comes around prestige, they're gonna right. see yeah. that other one out there. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that was uh when I saw the way I was like, oh, I wonder how you got that up there. When I saw the video, I was like, man, that was like that is one of those things that unless you saw that video, you will not be able to appreciate that like yeah. the effort it took. That pole, man. I love that pole. <laughs> <laughs> you got I I'm not even kidding. When I saw the the marine flag flip back over. Someone pointed it out to me and I was like, oh, that's weird. Cause I just looked at it the other day. It was a couple days before. And I remember sitting there thinking to myself, I don't want to climb up there, but I bet if we get someone, someone to climb up there with like the leaf blower, it would, we could get it to blow back over. <laughs> and then a couple days later, I was like, did I, by me putting that out there, did that happen? And then he said that they got the long pole. I was like, how long is this pole? Oh, that pole is huge. Yeah, dude. It's game, it's a game changer. You can get all kinds of stuff. I told him, and, and then one of the mornings, I like John was like, Well, what is it? Is it really long? And I go, John, this is my this is my COVID safety tactile queuing tool tool. And I extended it all the way out. And from a very far, I like I like get your hips back, but I I may have poked him. I may have poked him in a slightly more sensitive region than his hips. And he was well, like, he dude, it, that's for sure. Dude, what are you doing? Come on, man. He was a good sport about it. Oh man, oh man. But yeah, it does. Uh, it definitely like all of that. Like you're totally right. Like when you walk in the gym now, like I think, like I think a CrossFit gym, like it's still gonna have that warehouse feel, and I still think that's something like. It's authentic to it. It's authentic to it. But right, like, you know, the like the dirty, like dusty, um, you know, don't care kind of mindset is like, whatever, it's a gym, you're here to sweat and bleed and almost die. Like, yeah, those days are kind of if you really want to run. And I'm sure for some, there are some people that'll do it and it'll work for them. But if you're really trying to, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's those little details that go a long way. Well, that, I mean, we're kind of in it now at this point, I, I think, uh, yeah, you right. know, and I'll figure out where that actually was probably when you said last week, we talked about the, the, um, specialties, but anyway, uh, yeah, the, um, the idea of the value of it and, and especially like the, this is phase two, right? Phase one was open the doors, <laughs> put up a rig, uh, build a following, get people comfortable, show it. We, we, we weathered COVID via phase one. Phase two is kind of like now it actually, COVID was a great, the shutdown and sort of the having to go virtual and then come back in was a great excuse to 
kind of move us into the next phase, which is what we're in now, which is like, hey, this is small group training. And yeah, it's, as you said, CrossFit in a warehouse, but it's also like people are paying a value or a price point where the value should be, I shouldn't have to borrow uh, somebody else's equipment when I'm ready to do my thing. You know what I mean? Or like, like the, um, the rowers are a great example where they've served their purpose because, you know, we didn't have the capital to buy all new ergs when we first opened. But at this point, like that, a lot, some of those ergs, they, they still serve their function. Like they, they are a fine piece of equipment. They will get you fit. They're, they're good to go. But somebody buys a new erg from concept two for their garage and they're like, yeah, I just I dropped some money. It's really nice. And they're going to row on that thing. And then they're going to come here and they're going to row on it. And they're going to notice like, oh, well, this one feels very creaky and the you know bungee doesn't feel really tight. And what, but it starts to put that little question mark in their mind of what is the value that I'm getting? And in the end, the value is not the equipment, right? Like you can you could get the same thing with that erg as you could with sumo deadlift high pulls or sumo deadlift high pull and burpees and right like I can I can accomplish the same fitness goal work capacity goal. The value is in the experience, and if the equipment is causing somebody to be distracted in their experience, then that is a value, and that's yeah. where we're at as a business and as a community and as you know. In, that's why I'm calling it phase two is we are now bringing up to par, I would say some pieces of equipment that we have not, ha we have not bothered or not expended resources to those things because other things had a, had a better use of our resources, time, energy, money, whatever. And so that's sort of where, yes it to do those things too. right like so what does what does putting wood panels up on the wall what value does that really add well number one as you said it looks nicer so there is an aesthetic value to it number two it also imbues a sense of the there's the broken window theory and i don't know how accurate this is i'm sure kelly dr kelly can correct me if i'm wrong but right in social sciences or in social um sociology, though I know she's not a sociologist. Uh-oh, just lost you. There you're back. Um, if a building has broken windows in the neighborhood, oftentimes people see a broken window, their crime follows. Trash gets dumped. More windows get broken. Drug dealers move in. Bop, 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 right? You fix all the broken windows. You paint the facade. You plant a couple trees. Things look nice. People treat it nice. It now has that sense of aesthetic worth there's a little bit of that with those boards, but really what they are is they've uniformly now created a flat wall upon which to do handstand pushups, wall slides, wall squats, stretching afterwards, right? There is a sense that I don't have to, if I have a class of 12 people, have six of them up against the wall, two of them over on a box, one of them up against another wall because I don't have enough space where some of them don't like to go with their wall walks up on the whiteboard because it's too slippery, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So that saves time. And in the end, that's the experience is improved by something as simple as putting those boards up. And so from a cost standpoint, that's easy, low hanging fruit, relabeling of plates, color coding stuff, all part of the experience that when I go to get my 25 pound dumbbell, I see the stenciled 25 pound dumbbell. I see the stenciled rack that says 25 pounds. I go, oh, cool, 25 pound dumbbell. I'm in and out in three seconds. Versus I walk over to a pile of dumbbells and I go, huh, where are the 25s? Um, five seconds, 10 seconds, 25 seconds, 50 seconds, 60 seconds later, two smashed fingers and a smashed toe. Now I got my dumbbell and I'm kind of grumpy and pissed and it's taken a lot longer. So that's sort of the, the experience is reflected in the ability of the the client or the athlete to get what they want get back to the show us as the coach offer that and so that's sort of where i think this again i don't expect people i don't know if you can hear that danny's like setting stuff on fire out there um, okay. 
don't expect people to be like super excited about the stuff because that's our job to be super excited about it. Um, what I did like was just how kind of comfortable everybody was this morning, right? And yeah. how sort of there was like, oh, this looks really nice. But then we stretched afterwards. And I just, there was a different vibe and sort of a very, um, I don't know, just a really cool, uh, restorative sort of uh, fun energy to it all. And so, and again, maybe that's psychosomatic on my part where that I'm feeling that because I like how clean and organized it looks, but there you go. And it's kind of like uh, whenever you would, I don't know, whenever you were in school and you, they did like, they rearranged the seats in the class, whether it was in a different formation or just you went to a different seat. There was almost like a refreshing kind of like, eh, the change of scenery is nice. And so there's only so much scenery you can change without moving all the equipment around again. Oh, I got, I got plans for you, brother. We're in phase two. We got, we'll talk about phase three, uh, massage chairs and infrared saunas, but uh, yeah. not to, uh, <laughs> not to let the cat out of the bag. And, and we're talking months, month, month timeline, uh, perhaps yeah. a year timeline on that one. So yeah, man. Yeah, fun. yeah I mean, it's, it all comes down to like the experience. I don't know. I, I, that I think it's uh, when you walk in, do you feel good? And if that's like the initial, like that, I think that sets up for a good hour. Uh, the best hour of an athlete's day, I think we could say. Yeah. Without uh, treading on anyone's. I mean, we uh, are. I mean, we are basically just hijacking uh, Fern and Ackerman's topics of their podcast because we're listening to them and then thinking and yeah, talking about them. So basically, we're just yeah, we're basically just stealing their topics and talking. Oh man, about let me let me tell you just not to go on too much of a tangent, but on so on the way out here, um, not the most pleasant car ride because like Everett wasn't sleeping so well and Did you was poop your up. pants again. <laughs> <laughs> and like uh and uh fiona was just like man she was testing us she was straight up testing us and um and so at one point like meg crawled in the back seat like so you can kind of i'm gonna put it back here it's like that's where everett seats goes and there's yeah. like seat and so meg's like squeezed in back there and Meg's like, have I gained weight since like the last two months? Because this feels a lot tighter than I did a couple months ago. <laughs> and, uh, but she's back there, like trying to calm Everett. And then Fiona's like pestering her and there's not much I can do. I'm just driving. Right. Yeah. I had, so I have my, uh, my AirPods, right. So I like slipped one in my ear and was listening to best hour of their day while she said, and it was like 20 minutes later. She goes, do you have an AirPod bat? She goes, do you have one of your AirPods in? She goes, you rat bastard. <laughs> I, was like, give I just put the one in so I could still hear you, but like just give just you, give one to her and then let's just let her listen to it. I don't think she cares to listen to Ackerman and her. Uh, well, there you go. I mean, hey, choose yeah. you, right? You gotta right? pick your poison, either you know, screaming kids or Ackerman. I mean, whatever. <laughs> but she just goes, You rat bastard. <laughs> That's awesome. And she goes, and, but then she goes, and eh, whatever, there's nothing you can do anyway. I was like, Yeah, plus I can still hear you. And uh, she goes, whatever, you didn't put the other one in, so you didn't get caught, but I caught you. I was like, no, it's like, I, you can't really hide it. It's like right here. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't hiding anything. You just, not my fault, you're unobservant. Yeah. So anyway, I was like, you could do the same. You could throw one in while you're back there. Anyway. We used, so, to, yeah, uh, yeah. we used to make that run from Norfolk up to East Coast, sometimes stopping in Philly at my parents or going all the way up to Connecticut. Philly was a four and a half hour ride. The Connecticut ride was a full eight hours. Yeah. One time we made it up to Connecticut and it took us 12 hours because it was a uh, uh, Thanksgiving and it was 12 hours in the car with Andrew as a three-year-old and the twins were one. Yeah. So like Andrew's like three and a half twins were like one and a half. I, and we left it like purposely we left at uh, like four thirty, five 5 o'clock in the afternoon thinking we'd get there about, you know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning. We came rolling in at like three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, and they did not sleep. Like the whole, the reason we would leave in the afternoon is we drive for about three or four hours, get somewhere, 
eat dinner. Usually there's Ruby Tuesday on Route 13, just south of Dover. And we would you know, feed them, run around the, you know, outside, get them all tired, throw them in the car, and they'd pass out. And then we'd make it in silence. It was like 1.30, and they both, the twins, and Andrew was out cold. He was always a super easy rider. But the twins just screamed the entire time. And it was, I remember thinking to myself, I've really, really made a bad choice with my life. Like I've just really made a really bad choice here. <laughs> what? They turned out all right. They've turned out pretty cool. I like them. I like them now. <laughs> yeah, they're good kids. They're good people. Yeah, there's probably in those moments you're just like, what have I done? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, well, that's just what we learned too. Like, because when we, went, we drove to North Carolina, we drove at night. And like, they slept the whole way. I was like, I don't even care that we're driving at two o'clock in the morning. They slept the whole way. I'll take that. Driving middle of the afternoon was like, yeah, no, like shorter ride felt longer. So, all right. So finish this espresso shot out. What about you? Are you, what, what coming back, right? You kind of um, just from a timing standpoint and don't worry, we've got plenty left to do that first weekend in March. Um, you come walking in what uh what are you hoping expecting you know what i mean like what's what's your take on it as the other half of this uh crazy chaos uh just in the the, the revamping of yeah. the space yeah like I, what, I, do you, what do you hope like that's sort of like what do you hope to get out of it I, I kind of what you said is how you felt like whether it was all in your head or there was actually that energy of kind of this like kind of cool positive almost refreshing energy yeah it's just a um just a kind of it's it's nice to have that feeling and it almost especially i'm i'm very excited that you you made this call like let's get this done before the open because i like the idea of that kind of feeling and then leading into the excitement of the open because the yeah. opens it's going to feel a little different this year because we're not going to have the the friday night lights thing you know like we have in the past and so I think this leaves it something that's still going to have this fun, cool feel to it because now we've got this kind of new feeling space. It feels like we moved without moving. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. I like, I like that description. And, um, and sometimes just getting, having a change of scenery just gives you a refreshing take on a lot of things. And, um, and uh, I don't know, I think everyone could use a little like refreshing feel of some of the, of, things in their lives right now and so I think what you kind of already said it is that's what I'm looking for so I'm really excited I saw the picture and I all I automatically kind of had this like ah oh, that looks like so like the wall looks so nice and like I said the way that flag is hung on the back I just love the way that looks like because those walls were just you know they're white just kind of bare walls and uh, I said one time to Allie, I was like, Allie, we totally need to put like a mural, like painted. Well, I told mural. you I, I had, I wanted to, I kept pinging her. I haven't even gotten it. I want the circle um, whale. The, uh, that's still my favorite sticker. And I can't get her to get me the design or just reorder a bunch of them and I'll pay her for them. But the, yeah. uh, I want those and I want that. I want a, I want a flag of that. And I want that on the front. That's my next, like... I'm going to keep chipping away at that project, but that's I, like that. I love that picture that you and her, that design that you two came up with for that one. Absolutely. Awesome. It's one of my, it's my favorite next to the anchor on the wall that she and Mindy did like, yeah. that's just unreal. But uh, yeah, that the whale tail hologram sticker. Yeah, is so cool. cool. Well, and I just love, um, I said, if anything, it makes the space feel bigger. That's exactly what Danny said too when he came in. So that's kind of a cool. They draw, they draw your eyes up now, and so you realize like how big the space actually looks and feels. And, yeah. Um, I like the color; like it just adds more color. You know, we do. It was it was you know some green and yellow, and then black and white, and so yeah. even that all just adds some color. It's just it's totally refreshing. So that's what I was looking for, and just people to kind of have like a refresh feeling. And like you said, like is so, the small details something as small as color coding the plates a from just a like at the end of class it's like all right hopefully i don't that's not like a thing i have to pay attention to too much is rearranging the plates on the rack but like you know it's not that big a deal but those simple little things where people can think less about right good yeah 
just think about less about these little logistical things like make sure you put the dumbbells back where they need to go and don't stack them and and then and maybe you and i aren't pestering them as much because we don't want to have to do it at the end of the day yeah. like that, that little systems there that they don't have to think about as much they get to think about i'm in this cool space i'm here with my buddies i'm getting a good workout in and uh and they're happy to be there for an hour so so i would uh, say too that, that's awesome um my mind is also geared towards, and again, talking to talking to Ackerman and, and Fern, I'm listening to Ackerman and Fern. Um, yeah. <laughs> I talk to yeah. them actually while I'm walking though. And if I'm listening and they're talking about right. it, I'm like, like, no, 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 guys, no. Like, and like, they can't Fern, hear you're me. totally forgetting about this one thing, yeah. right? It's like <laughs> um, but the, uh, I'm also, I'm, my eye is always towards, like the adult classes are running fine. We've still got, room to grow and capacity in them my eye towards you and your beasts and continuing to tweak layout so that they are optimized and yeah. that right like there's a lot of like basically you've jammed that round peg into the square hole of the adult classes and without complaint always making it work there's there's room to make it so that any changes are always geared towards does this serve all the okay. athletes that are in this gym and so like as we've been as i've been moving and i'm like okay well 12 squares works for this, but you got 16 and 14 kid classes like we need i need to whenever there's any sort of redesign or thinking it's like okay does this serve the beasts as well and so that like when we, this happened and we finished and I was like, ah, there's like three or four things that immediately went on the list of like, oh, that super easy fix, but that so now is in my mind so that, right, like when you're done three and 4 p.m. and you roll into the 515 adult class, it's not like a, right, like this like, oh, because, you know, grumpy Eric is not happy Eric and that's that's sort of the you know what I mean like so at as you were saying the revamp opened up room for me to then see other things of like oh and they're simple things but I would have yeah. never seen it with the noise of everything else that was going on yeah and those those little details go a long way I yeah mean, the big picture yeah hey so this is this is a spring cleaning because by the chinese new year i think it's the 11th i think february 11th is officially the, the lunar new year um so uh so february 11th is I, I always like to go i like to go off the chinese calendar you know the eastern eastern philosophies of uh you know traditional chinese medicine and you know homeopathic uh treatments and stuff that's that's my jam you know wood i'm a like the the wood fire uh water steel god i forget the five it's the five elements the five systems liver earth, heart, wind, water, uh, heart captain planet what is it earth fire wind water heart captain planet yeah there you go you leave nailed it, it. <laughs> leave it to leave it to american comic books to hijack all that eastern uh yeah <laughs> I'm going to take that cultural appropriation. I'm going to take that cultural appropriation and I'm going to turn it into a superhero. That's right. American culture is all the cultures. Let's just yeah. call it that. Oh, well done. Melting. It's a melting pot. It's a melting pot. Uh, no. Yeah, there I am. Cool. Well, cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. So there you go. That's the, that's sort of the folks listening, listening folks. That's sort of, as you see stuff changing in the gym, that's where the mindset is. It is a, uh, right. It's a time to, to clean the joint up a little bit and, um, uh, continue to, if you're not, if you're not adapting, you're, uh, you're dying, right. Is that the, something, I don't know. That sounded a little, that was a little dark. Adapt or die. What Adapt is that? From? I've heard that. Yeah. I, I don't have a, I don't have a joke ready because uh, I'm I'm unprepared for our our podcast today. I've so. got one. Let's see if I can. Uh, I've been practicing. Let me see if I can nail it. Okay. Okay. All right. This one's a little bit longer. Okay. So there is a uh, there's a woman at a bank. Her name is um, her name is Patricia Patricia Wack. Her name is Patricia Wack, and a uh, she's sitting at her desk, and a frog comes in. Frog comes and sits down at her desk, and he goes, "Hello, Mrs. Wack." My name is, my name is um, Kermit Jagger, and my father is Mick Jagger, 
and I would like to get a fifty thousand dollar loan. And and Patricia Wack is looking at her like looking at him like, huh? Well, this is a frog asking for fifty thousand dollar loan, and she's like, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that. He goes, Don't worry, Ms. Wack. He goes, I got it covered. And he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a little porcelain elephant. Pulls out a little porcelain elephant. He goes, This is this will be my collateral. Okay, and this is my collateral. So he's like, so it'll, it, this is this is all you'll need. And she's just looking confused and frustrated. She goes, all right, let me go talk to my manager. So Ms. Wack goes back to her manager. And she goes to her manager and says, um, you know, uh, I've got this frog over here and he's asking for $50,000 loan. And I'm talking about collateral and all he has is this little porcelain elephant. It's like, what am I supposed to do here? And uh, And he goes, and the bank manager looks at her and goes, um, well, that's real simple. That's a knickknack, Patty Whack. Give that frog a give that frog alone. His old man's a Rolling Stone. <laughs> that was a lot of work. I've only that was a lot of work, and you almost stumbled. You almost stumbled right at the goal line, but you made it. You made it through. You plowed through like Jerome Bettis, putting the ball in the end zone. That was pretty well done, sir. Pretty well done. Uh, whew, whew. Well, that's funny. Um, you know, talking to frogs and, and elephants, it, it made me think about birds. Because did you know that there are no canaries in the Canary Islands? Really? Yeah, and it's the same thing in the Virgin Islands. There's no canaries? There's no canaries there either. <laughs> <laughs> this is a clean podcast, folks. PG-13. PG-13. <laughs> Oh uh, all right, man. My gratitude's real simple. Danny, yeah. the O'Neills, Mary, my wife, they all showed up. You were, you were there, but you guys were getting on the road. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, they were so, it was really cool. Danny is like freaking handy Joe, man. I'll tell you what, that dude figured he, we did the first two boards together and he's like, I got it. I got a system. I'm good. You go on, move on something else. And so I was like, okay and so i started like chipping away at like little tasks mary was awesome she just sort of was like give me something to do i gave it to her she's like i don't like that job give me something else and so i just gave her like the most mundane like she just had to color all the plate like color the sides of the plates she yeah. just she went into like zoop and just knocked it out shelly and john just kept chipping away nicole helped out for a little bit while nice. she was here so yeah it was a very fun um I was very grateful for how much we were able to get done because everyone just kind of put their heads down, chipped away. We all, I mean, I forgot about food completely, which Shelly reminded me and she goes, I didn't forget, but eh, we're already, we're already over the hump. So just keep moving. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a good day. It was a good day. I'm glad. That's awesome. That was awesome. Um, I'm going to go back. So this is actually a gratitude I had last week and I forgot about it. So a couple of Fridays ago, it was, um, so I had the weightlifting class and I think I had Josh and Andrew in the Friday, the teens class. Cause I think Andrew showed up with Colin. I said, yeah, they're here. Just go ahead and join the baseball, the, the baseball boys. They said, yeah, guys, you're cool. Go ahead and join us. So I had Josh and Andrew. And then during the beast class, I had, did Josh stay? And then I had Josh, Matt and Andrew. And then, um, I wanted to get that um, the five minute squat clean and jerk workout in that open yeah. workout. And so I was like, well, let me see. I finished coaching. Mary's about to coach. I literally have 10 minutes to get this thing in. So I literally put weight on a barbell and I was like, I want to do it. And uh, I was like, should I do it? And Andrew and Matt said, we'll do it with you. <laughs> like, okay. I was like, well, I'm going to get like, I'm going to just put weight on a bar. I was like, I'm going to get going in five minutes. So I just did like a couple squat clean and jerks at 95, a couple at 135 put the one, was it 165? Put 165, yeah. All right, we're going to three, two, one, go. So they did it with me. And so they just, they just went right into it, to it. So, but it was so cool because I had like two Ryans at three o'clock, three Ryans at four o'clock, two Ryans with me at five o'clock. <laughs> and it was just so cool. Cause like I had so much fun with your boys that day. They did three wads that day. Yeah, I think I yeah, like one of three workouts. Andrew did three at two, I think. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, they dude, yeah. they're loving it. They are like yeah. seriously, they're they're full on. I find my YouTube feed. They're now watching old games and regional oh, coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Matt, I don't. I think both him and 
uh, Andrew and then Josh jumps in every now and then, but yeah, yeah, they've gone full nerd. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And it was funny when I asked, when I asked for pictures of like uh, the boys and stuff for this thing, like I got Josh playing baseball, I got Matt playing hockey. And then Nicole sent me, she goes, CrossFit is basically Andrew's sport. So she sent yeah. me a couple, <laughs> but I was like, but that day in particular, I just remember I had so much fun with your boys that day. Thanks. Man. Uh, I was like, oh man, I was like, oh, they're like my new workout buddies. So it's so, it's awesome. <laughs> good workout buddies to have. And uh, I've, I've also cleaned up our garage gym. Matt was very appreciative. He goes, I like this layout. It's nice. I heard him regulate on uh, some of the neighborhood boys in the gym. Hey, put your tub. Yeah. Hey, put it. That doesn't go there. Get your crap out of here. It was all, I was like, yeah, I've, awesome. I've created a monster. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, all right, man. Well, enjoy, uh, enjoy the rest of this day and, you know, the way safe travels home tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. All right, boss. All right. Later, brother. Later.